Well, let me tell before I read uh, why this song, what this song means to me. And uh, coming home, I, I work up at the lake when I can get up there without the virus. And uh, I take two days, a trip up there, and then I spend the night and then come back the next day. Well, one of my trips uh, coming home, I believe it was in December, that, uh, well, uh, let me say this, they're building a, a four-way highway on 69. And uh, they had changed the speed limits from uh, higher up down to 50 and 60 miles an hour. So I'm heading home and uh, I'm running about 50 miles an hour and I come over a hill and there right in front of me was a tractor pulling a trailer. And I was at 50, you don't just slam on your brakes pulling a little trailer behind. So I stepped on the gas, and then I realized I was in the wrong lane. There's just a two-lane highway there. So I was coming around the little tractor, and I looked up on the hill, and coming down the other side was my head on. And I was on the wrong side of the highway. So I hit my accelerator, and luckily come in just past the tractor, and I was gritting my teeth knowing I was going to hear metal. The Lord was with me. He guided me right on through. And I, I hit the other side and didn't get a dent. And everything just went real smooth. But it was quite exciting there. And I thank the Lord all the way home for uh, his blessings and, and uh, keeping us safe. And uh, this is Psalms 54. And uh, it said, Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Strangers are attacking me. Ruthless men seek my life. Men without regardance for God. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Evil, let evil recall on those who slander me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. A sacrifice, a free will offering to you, I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from all my troubles and have looked in triumph over my foes. Uh, and then in the side column in my Bible, that's why I went back to my old original because it tells me what I read and I'm not able to retain a whole lot of it. But it uh, said, many psalms like this one plead to God's deliverance for a specific problem or threat. Yet these psalms describe God's helping in general ways. They state with assurance that God's people can count on him to rescue them. It seemed clear that God preserves lessons from a specific incidents to teach us larger spiritual truths that can be applied more broadly in many kinds of situations. And it says sometimes God protects us from physical dangers, from human threats like those David often faced, from misfortunes such as sickness and accidents. Other times, my protection prevents spiritual troubles from overtaking us. Jesus taught his disciples to pray, deliver us from the evil one, found in Matthew 6.13. And after my little excursion there, I thank the Lord all the way home for guiding me. I felt like he pulled me through that uh, situation. And like my cap there, God is good all the time. Has for all my 84 years. And I guess that's all I know.